G'day guys, Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines on a picture perfect day down here in Melbourne and I'm with Sean Savage from Streaker Boats and Sean, you've brought an absolute toy with you today. This is uh, the biggest cruise craft with every single option box ticked. It must be a favourite boat of yours. It is a bit of a peach. We uh, we love it and it's a, uh, it's a it's a great market for us. It's the real dream boat for, for Melbourne boating for our fishing. So we are happy to represent it and we're, we're here to give it a good shot. Yeah, well this boat's been put together for the Melbourne Boat Show and of course you'll see the massive uh, Melbourne Boat Show feature in Fishing Monthly Magazine. But how many cruise crafts and streaker boats are you going to have at the Melbourne Show? There'll be a fair few. We'll, uh, we'll have uh, around seven cruise crafts, we'll have about 13 streakers and we'll have uh, probably close to 20 cruise uh, Quintrexes there as well. So uh, we'll be heavily represented and we'll be uh, ready to give it our best go. Well, I'm really excited about getting this boat on the water. Let's get it off the trailer, add it to Port Phillip Bay and check out some of the features of this fantastic cruise craft. So mate, we weren't wrong, it's a fantastic day out here in Port Phillip Bay and it's actually so flat we can't really get any idea of the sea handling ability of this boat, but hey, this model has been in the cruise craft range for how long? It's been in it's been the cruise craft range for decades, it's a, uh, it's a beautiful rig, they're super well balanced, they plane flat, they, they react to trim, um, the boat handling is as, normally as good as the occupier behind the wheel, yep. um, but the actual boat itself ultra proven and they're just a brilliant rig for everything we want to throw at them. That's right and that uh, that 300 horsepower yummy on the back pushed this thing up to 78 kilometres per hour on this uh, on this dead flat surface and let's maybe not talk about the fuel economy, the best I can see was around 1.1 kilometres per litre of fuel but my theory is if you want to spend uh, you know six figures on a boat you're probably yeah. not worried about the fuel that much. Well it's one of those things you're pushing a lot of weight and you're, 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 you're pushing a, a big horsepower as well so yeah, if you yeah. want the acceleration and that mid-range grunt and everything you've uh, where you gain, you lose sometimes. That's right. Saying that, there's not there's 300 horsepower, 300 horsepower, the, the fuel economy right. is going to be what it is. And when you're on a bar and have a big, big wave in front of you, you're not going to be uh, regretting buying a 300, <laughs> are you? <laughs> it's very, very true. Um, look, some of the options that you've put in this boat, that's the real thing that I'm interested in, is how you guys have optioned this boat up to be the ultimate fishing cruise craft. First thing let's talk about is the uh, the Sea Deck. It's a great looking product and it's uh, great under the bare feet here. Exactly right. It's brilliant for bare feet. It's brilliant for uh, cosmetic looks, but it's also super practical it's easy to clean there's no hiding spots inside the boat you can hose it all out you can use a, uh, a soapy brush and um, keep it clean for many years to come that's right and it's also embossed with the uh, cruise craft logo and that's a nice little touch they don't forget about uh, putting their logos in there that's for sure <laughs> they've uh, got a beautiful machine they can cut it all up with and uh, the world's the oyster now I noticed uh, boarding the boat that uh, that side door that's that's an option and that's a very handy option uh, tell us about the side door option side door is brilliant side door gives you that accessibility for when you're uh, obviously packing the boat um, getting in and out of the boat but also getting those big fish in and out of the boat as well so at the moment we've got the Teflon door in there which is a quick release door when if you don't want to use the side door but you've got that as an option there's the full fiberglass line side door that goes in there straight off the bat so you can't tell that you actually have one but uh, when you're out the game fishing you get those big those big fish inside the boat that's the uh, the only way to do it that's right that's the only way to get them in now look, one of the other popular options you put in here is of course the uh, the toilet in the cabin uh, very popular with the families I'm sure it is it is it makes that uh, day trip a little bit easier it's a uh, full macerator pump electric toilet it's it's designed to be fitted inside the cabin there the cabin's also got that full privacy de door that closes in there as well so yep. uh, gives you that uh, full day boating yep um, it's got a pretty impressive sim rad on here. It's got the radar, got the autopilot, which we're actually on now. Just yep. run us quickly through uh, some of the features of this massive unit. Uh, it's, it's the flagship off the Evo 2 range. It's a 16 inch. It's got the uh, 4G radar, which you can see at the moment, which has got the overlay on the GPS screen. We have uh, structure scan 3D at the, as well, which gives us our side scan imaging and our 3D imaging, which works brilliant for when you're targeting a, uh, a bottom base sort of style. 
Um, we have the BSM3, which is the big processor to run the uh, the high chirp frequencies um, through hull transduce. It's worked superb at 70, 80 kilometers an hour today. It was a super high definition. It worked fantastic. Yep. As I said 4G radar. It's got the uh, the separate aerial to um, to overlay all that information. It's, it's super, super easy to use. It's all uh, plug and play, and you just got to push that menu button and push the button that you see that you want to yep. go to. You don't have to be an Einstein to work the thing out, and uh, gives you awesome, awesome information. I think I think the console design is very smart because increasingly you're seeing these big multifunction displays in here, and this isn't a cluttered console. Mm. Anchor deploy, outboard information, trim tabs, all of your electronic functions and, and a few of the standard switches for the pumps. Like, I've seen 14 foot tinnies with more switches and buttons than this. This is a simple, nice layout. I really like it. Um, let's talk about the um, the other option, the stress free winch on the front, of course. It, it nearly is a standard on boats nowadays. How many people buy these sort of boats without them? Um, look, Stress anchor winches are very important, especially for our type of, uh, of uh, fishing where we're deploying and moving all, all the time. Saying that, getting an anchor winch is going to stand the test of time and five years down the track is going to work as good as the day, the, the day you picked it up. It's very important for us. We're uh, very, very important and fixated on, the, on having the ultimate boat. And then we've also got the ultimate motor, which we find the Yamaha F300, the ultimate trailer, which is also the most expensive trailer, which is that T-Alloy Easy Tow trailer. Um, but then we will need to equip the boat with the right gear. That's why we've chosen Sea Deck. We've chosen stress-free for anchor winches and Simrad for our electronics. Yep. We, 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 we really don't want to skimp anywhere, and we, uh, we, we we like to make what we think is the ultimate package for today and also for five years' time. It still works just as good. Yeah, yeah. Now, the other things that I think as a fisherman I really like, the fact you can have up to a dozen rods out here in the rod holders at the moment, and, of course, the, uh, the Esky setup, you know, one for your fish, one for your food. That's an option. It is an option. Um, typically, you'll see a lot of them with twin eskies, so the ice-filled eskies. We run one esky. Um, it fits brilliantly through that side door, fill out with ice. You can put your snappers or whatever you're catching a day in that and have it removable in and out of the boat. Yeah. This one's also removable, but it's 12-volt power. It's a fridge-freezer. It's connected to power, and that's more designed to uh, keep the fish smell out and keep, get the food yeah. and the, uh, the drinks in there. Well, I can say this is one of the flashiest boats, and it's great to see that it's an Australian-made boat that we've tested at Fishing Monthly Magazines. Thanks very much for the ride out today. Let's uh, cut to a bit of footage of this girl in action. Well, what an absolute pleasure it was to get out on Port Phillip Bay in the Cruisecraft 685EX. And this is a proven hull that Cruisecraft have made for years. Of course, it's packaged with the Yamaha 300 horsepower four-stroke, which is another proven and strong motor. Um, even though we weren't out there really testing the performance, it got nearly 80 kilometres an hour, took less than five seconds to get up on the plane. But for me, the real story here is the fact that a locally built Australian boat, coupled with Streaker Marine, the dealership, has optioned out the ultimate Australian snapper fishing boat and of course wherever you fish in Australia you can adapt that fit out to fit your sort of fishing. Um, the custom sea deck on the floor, the custom eskies, the large simrad, the radar, the whole package together is one of the most comfortable, well thought out, well fitted out boats that I've ever seen. Um, made in Brisbane, fitted out in Melbourne, it's, uh, it's a great package. Um, if you're looking for a boat that's at this end of the price range, and, and these boats aren't cheap, the packages start from $164,950 with a lot of options, but this one, as it's fitted out here, comes in at $196,000. If you're looking at this end of the market, um, this cruise craft has got everything that can match any of the imports, and of course it's fantastic to buy locally. For more information, go to streakermarine.com.au or check them out at the Melbourne Boat Show.